Students will be able to write the equation for a parabola with given characteristics. Write an equation for and graph a parabola with the given focus and vertex. So we have the vo focus of negative 9, 7 and vertex of negative 9, negative 4. Uh, maybe we should go by twos on this because that puts us right to the edge of this graph. So we'll go by twos on the x and we'll go by twos on the y. We'll make a note of that. The focus is negative 9, negative 7. 2, 4, 6, 8, 2, 4, 6, 8, 9, and 2, 4, 6, 7. So right there. That is the focus. The vertex is negative 9, negative 4. That puts us right there. There's the vertex. Well, now I know that this parabola opens down. If it opens down, then we have x minus h squared is equal to 4p times y minus k, where the vertex is the h and the k. Well, now we know that this is x uh, plus 9 squared is equal to 4p times y plus 4. Well, now if we find the p, we have it made. And the p is the distance from the vertex to the focus, and that ends up being 3 units. So x plus 9 squared is equal to 12 times y plus 4. So let's finish the graph. If the focus is 3 down, then the directrix is 3 up from the vertex. So there's the directrix. And we can go 6 right and 6 left through the focus and find two more points. So 2, 4, 6 here, 2, 4, 6 there. And we have this parabola, something like that. Students will be able to write the equation for a parabola with given characteristics. Write an equation for and graph a parabola with the given focus f and vertex v. So number 26, we have a focus of negative 9, negative 7, and a vertex of negative 9, negative 4. Now since that gets us pretty close to the edge of the graph here, let's go by twos. So we have negative 9, 2, 4, 6, 8, 9, 2, 4, 6, 7. <clears throat> Excuse me, so there's a negative 9, negative 7. And that is the focus. And the vertex is negative 9, negative 4. So there's the vertex. Well, now we know that the parabola opens down. And if the parabola opens down, then we should write x minus h squared is equal to 4p times y minus k. But the vertex is the h and the k. So we have x uh, plus 9 squared is equal to 4p times y plus 4. Well, p in this case is the distance from the vertex to the focus. So the p is actually negative 3. So p is equal to negative 3. That means we have a negative 12 sitting there. Well, now we need to finish the graph. Now, if the focus is 3 down from the vertex, the directrix is 3 up from the vertex. And then if we go right, 2, 4, 6, and left 2, 4, 6 from the, the focus, we have two more points on the parabola and we can just kind of uh, draw what uh, would appear to be a parabola. Write an equation for, write an equation for and graph each parabola with focus F and the given characteristics. So here we also have the focus, which is 11, 4. Uh, we're told that the parabola opens to the right and contains the point 2016. So let's, uh, let's go by twos again. So two here and two here. The focus is 11, 4. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11, 2, 4. Right here, 11, 4 is there. And then 2016. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16 is right there. Well, this is the focus, and what we really want is the vertex to finish this equation. Now, if the parabola opens to the right, then we have y minus k squared is equal to 4p times x minus h. The point 2016 is an x and a y. It's on the parabola. 
So we could write 16 minus k squared is equal to 4p times uh, 20 minus h. Now we need, in order to find the p, we need the vertex. Well, we can't find out exactly what the vertex is, but we can represent it. If this parabola is going to open to the right, then p is positive. And if we have this focus over here on the graph, we want to back up to the vertex. So we want to take this value, which is 11, and if we, could, if we knew what the p is, we could minus p and get back to where the vertex is. So the x-coordinate is going to be 11 minus p, and the y-coordinate of the vertex is still going to be 4. It's going to be the same as the focus because we're moving left. The up and down is not changing. This is the h, and that's the k. So now we have 16 minus 4 squared is equal to 4p times 20 minus 11 minus p. Now we can find p. This is, uh, what is this, 12. So we have 144 is equal to 4p times 20 minus 11 is 9, and then minus negative p is plus p. So we have 144 is equal to 36p plus 4p squared. So 0 is equal to, let's write it this way, 4p squared plus 30, not 13, 36. 36p minus 144. So 0 is equal to 4 times p squared plus 9p minus um, 36. So 0 equals 4 times p plus 12 and p minus 3. So p could be negative 12, but if p was negative 12, that means this would open to the left, and our parabola opens to the right, so p must be 3. So now that we know that p is 3, we know the vertex, here's the vertex, we know that the vertex is 8, 4. So we could plot that, and I was pretty close. Here's 8, 4. Four. So there's the vertex, uh, and then if the focus is 3 to the right, then the vertex has to be 1, 2, 3, let's see, uh, 1, 2, oh, no, I'm, I'm off just a little bit, I'm off just a little bit. 3 to the left would be 1, 2, 3, would be right there. Uh, and then 3 to the left of that, 1, 2, 3, this is the directrix. Well, let's get the equation. We almost have it graphed. Let's get the equation. And now we know, we know that this is an H and this is a K. And not only that, we know that P is equal to 3. So we can go up here and now we can write the equation. We have uh, Y minus 4 squared is equal to, and let me check the P, yeah, the P is 3. So that's 12 times x and uh, minus 8. We can finish the graph by going 6 up and 6 down from the focus. So 2, 4, 6 and 2, 4, 6. And up top here we have kind of a bonus point that we know the parabola goes through. Uh, 2, 4, 6, right there. Write an equation for and graph each parabola with focus f and the given characteristics. So the focus is 1, 3. So 1, 1, 2, 3. Uh, oh, and we got negative 14, 11, so we should probably go by 2's on this. Let me just redo that. Write an equation for and graph each parabola with focus f and the given characteristics. So number 40 says focus is 1, 3 opens left and contains negative 14, 11. Let's go by twos, two and two. The focus is one, three, one, three. That's right there. And contains the point negative 14, 11. 
2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11. That's right there. This is the focus over there. This parabola opens to the left, which means y is being squared. We need the vertex. Now, p is going to be negative because this parabola opens to the left, but I actually want to add p to get back to the vertex to the right. Well, if p is negative, but we actually want to add the value to p to x, then we need to subtract p because minus a negative will end up will end up adding the value. So that means the vertex is we're going to use the focus and we're going to go 1 minus p. Now remember, we're minusing because p is going to be a negative value. It's negative because the parabola is opening to the left. The good news is on all of these it's always minus p. It doesn't matter if you're going to the left or to the right. It always works out that you want to subtract p. So we are minusing p on this other one back here. Uh, we just have to decide are we minusing p from the x or minusing p from the y. This is an x coordinate and a y coordinate. This is the h and the k. Now we have everything we need to know to find p. So 11 minus 3 squared is equal to 4p times we know our x is negative 14 minus 1 minus p. Well, that's 8 squared, that's 64 is equal to 4p times negative 15 plus p. So 64 is equal to negative 60p plus 4p squared. So let's minus the 64 over. We get 4p squared minus 60p minus 64. Let's take a 4 out. p squared minus um, 15. 15p and minus 16. So 0 is equal to 4 times p minus 16 and p plus 1. So p is either 16 which means that the parabola would open to the right. So we don't want the 16. We don't want the positive value. We want the negative value. So p is negative 1. Now we can go, let, let's get the vertex. We know the vertex up here uh, is uh, 1 minus negative 1 is 2. So we ended up adding that value, 1 minus a negative 1. We ended up adding 1. And the y value is 3. So this is uh, y minus 3 squared is equal to 4p, but p is negative 1, so negative 4 times x minus 2. Let's finish graphing this. The vertex ends up being, end up being 2, 3. That's right there. There's the focus. And then um, if we go 2 up and 2 down, 2 up and 2 down from the focus, then we can graph the parabola, and we should probably also plot the directrix, which should be one to the right of the vertex.